So today we're jumping on the ice for part one of the Lefebvre L20.1 on ice review. Let's go check it out. Hello and welcome to my Lefebvre L20.1 on ice review. I've had this set for about a month and a half now. So a lot of men's league games, a lot of training sessions, scrimmages and open ice sessions, just like this one. And uh, today it looks like it's just me. Nobody else here. So we're gonna have a good time. So diving right into this thing, these pads are light. They come in at right around 4.8 pounds per pad. So definitely the lightest pad I've ever had. But of course, the first thing anybody wants to know about a set of pads is how they drop into the butterfly. How do they seal along the ice? And I gotta say, these pads have been the best in both of those departments for me. They have a great seal all the way along the ice from the boot all the way up to the top of the thigh rise. And the slide has been great since day one. And I definitely feel like they almost slide better throughout this skate. As an ice session goes on, I really feel like I'm able to move through the crease really well. I'm not fighting the ice. I'm sliding across the crease nice and smooth and super fast too. Now these pads are stiff. I was really concerned about that at first, especially considering I came from a much softer pad before. But after a couple skates and honestly, maybe even just a week or two, I feel like these pads have really taken a form that I have been very comfortable with. So just a quick break in time to really kind of get them into a shape that I feel like I've really enjoyed so far. Now moving on to the FRS or the fast rotation system. This is a brand new strapping system for Lefebvre and I've really been enjoying it. There's a lot of options here you can play around with. There are two elastic straps on the calf wrap and those two straps are extremely customizable. I've been playing around with different tightnesses on the two different straps and I found that using the brakes and the calf wrap as a reference point, I can find a good tightness spot on each strap and I feel like I really like having the bottom strap a little more tight. Not super tight by any means, but still pretty tight on the bottom and pretty loose on top. With this setup, I've really been able to get the full benefits of the FRS, which is a much tighter fit to the leg and also brings the pad up higher on the leg, which ultimately really frees up the ankle. Now, freeing up the ankle is super beneficial. It really helps the ankles breathe, removing a lot of stress, but also making sure your feet have enough room to really move around and enhances your mobility. Now, another thing that takes stress off your ankles with this set is the bungee toe ties or the pro laces. This is my first time using bungee toe ties and it has definitely been a bit of an adjustment for me. There are definitely some pros and cons where the pros are that it does take stress off your ankles, which takes stress off everything else down the chain, like your knees and your hips. And it does keep the pad in place, so it's very reactive. But I have noticed that when playing in the RVH, moving from post to post and pushing off my post, I'm having a hard time getting a good solid push off the post. So the toe ties are definitely something I'm gonna have to test out a little bit more moving forward. Not sure if I'm gonna stick with them or not, but I am liking the fact that they do take stress off my ankles and they do a great job of keeping my pad in place. So all in all, these pads are super light. They're very reactive. The FRS gives me a great connection to the pad while also lifting the pad up higher on my leg, freeing up my ankle for better movement throughout my crease. And the flat face and hot rebounds definitely give you better rebound control. I'm not gonna say the rebounds are anything crazy or insane, but they do have a nice pop off the face, pushing pucks all the way to the corner. So moving forward, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna have part two of this video coming out going over the glove and blocker. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you around.